and welcome to Intentional Photography, which is not exactly the right title for today because I pretty much intend to be completely unintentional. Uh, I think most everybody's sick of the restrictions and so everything else, but uh, I still enjoy getting out with my camera. So all I'm doing today is putting a lens on the camera, stepping outside, wandering around, and seeing what I can find in nature. Uh, it's constantly changing. Uh, plants are sprouting and maturing. Um, it's, it's an ever-changing landscape. And as I talked in my last, sometimes it's small things, sometimes it's bigger things. Sometimes it's a cat that always has had to be a part of whatever I'm doing while I'm outside. Uh, I enjoy the little man's company, but uh, I'll kind of be glad to be able to get out and somewhere where he's not uh, trying to record these. But anyway, that said, and probably too much said, let's get to it. Let's take some pictures. Let's wander around and see what we can find without doing too much work uh, and just see what has sprouted up and what we might be able to find along the way. The majority of these images are handheld. I just wondered about seeing what I could find. I did use the tripod for a few in the deep shade. A few things did catch my eye, but don't expect portfolio quality images. This was a scouting expedition. Here I found that lady slipper I mentioned previously. At least I'm pretty sure this is it. I won't know for sure until it gets a little further along. I found this plant, but my nature app doesn't know what it is. If you know, drop me a comment down below. The best research I could do indicates it's probably a white-veined wintergreen. Does anyone know for sure? Then I found this rather cooperative spider who didn't mind striking a pose or two. Further along, some lichen on a dead tree. I don't know why, it just struck me as interesting. Deeper into the woods, I found a different patch of moss. It's been a few weeks since I photographed the other, so this is more mature. You can notice the difference if you compare it to the video. I'll put a link above. Does anyone know what this is? I guess I should buy a plant guide. At last I found something I thought had real possibilities. It also created an idea for a tutorial. I guess I just can't help myself. I really like the contrast between the moss, the tree bark, and that hollow area. The problem is, in this case, the sunlight. Everything I photographed before was in open shade. In this case, there's a bright patch of sunshine that doesn't want to cooperate. Even underexposed one and a third stops, which is the image you see here. The sun is more than the dynamic range of the camera wants to handle. And here it is run through post-processing, still only usable as a reference image. What I need is a slightly overcast day to even out the light. And here it is. The next day provided much better light and I got something closer to the shot I wanted. Keep in mind, when your subject is small enough, you can position yourself between the subject and the sun and provide your own open shade. In this case, the subject was much too large for that. And to finish up, a fern up close and personal. Well, that was it for today. Uh, maybe a little bit of a tutorial. Sometimes I can't help myself, but mostly just images for you to enjoy. Something to distract you during this time of restrictions that we're dealing with. Uh, here in Virginia, we hear there may be light at the end of the tunnel. Or some of the restrictions may be lifted by next Friday. So things will start to get back to normal, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see what it goes on. But if you like my videos, particularly this one, just give it a thumbs up. If you want to see all of my content, please subscribe. And if you want to get the notifications, click the bell. But if you want to tell me what I did wrong or what I'm doing right, just scroll down to the bottom and leave me comments. I'd love to hear from you. But most of all, thanks for watching.